today we are going to get introduced with a set of graphs and a set of definitions and terms and our topic is storage capacity and yield and storage capacity and yield from a reservoir we know we have constructed dams and other structures to build a big pond called reservoirs to store maximum amount of water why are, why are we storing that maximum amount for the year long period of time we will want to take many amounts of water for many purposes it may be energy purpose it may be irrigation it may be water supply okay so for many purpose we will be taking water from the reservoir so these terms and graphs will be in link to this factor okay so go into first term yield of a reservoir yield of a reservoir as the name indicates as we normally tell the yield from a well or yield from a pump etc yield from a reservoir is the amount of water that we get from the reservoir or amount of water supplied from a reservoir simply that's it if you suppose you are supplying 25000 meter cube of water in an year maybe in one year the yield is 25000 meter square sorry meter meter cube okay or if you convert it into hectare meter 2.5 hectare meters is the yield it's just that simple okay and next one you know what is yield is next one is safe yield what is safe yield safe yield is the maximum amount of yield that can be guaranteed from a particular reservoir on every year okay if suppose on 2001 we have supplied 2.5 hectare meter and 2002 we have supplied 2.2 hectare meter and likewise 2003 we have supplied 2.6 hectare meter okay so by studying you can use any number of years maximum number if you consider it is good for you if you consider 3 years or a set of years what is the minimum quantity that can be guaranteed on next coming years 2004 5 6 etc what is the minimum quantity the 2.2 value so safe yield will be around 2.2 hectare meter okay so safe yield is the maximum amount of quantity that can be guaranteed to supply from our considered reservoir this that value will be different for different reservoirs okay okay next one secondary yield secondary yield is the amount of water that is supplied above safe yield okay if you take 2003 okay so you will know the safe yield is 2.2 hectare meter Okay, understand in simple uh, means 2.2 hectare meter is the safe yield. So secondary yield is what is been supplied on 2000 year 2003 2.6 hectare meter. So secondary yield is 2.6 minus to safe yield 2.2. So secondary yield will be equal to 0.4 hectare meter it's that simple okay so secondary yield by definition is the added amount of water that can be supplied or that is being supplied above safe yield in a particular period of time all these values can be considered in any period of time maybe in per month this i have 
everything I have discussed above the, with the example I have decided on per year values you can express it in months also uh, 2.5 hectare meter per month or 2000 meter cube of water per month okay likewise you can consider per month so definition will be to a particular period only so secondary yield is the surplus amount of water that is supplied from the reservoir in addition to safe yield so in addition means you supplied on the year 2003 secondary yield was 2.6 minus safe yield that is 0.4 hectare meter okay so these are yield terms so we are moving on to next one mass inflow curve mass inflow curve we have talked about mass rainfall curve uh, rainfall mass curve and everything it was very similar to if you have a cricket fan you know we always see a graph with runs on the y axis and overs on the x axis and it will be something like this okay instead of in mass inflow curve it is just instead of overs we will be having time time in terms of maybe 2001 2002, 2003, 2004, etc. In years terms or in months terms, and instead of runs, you will be having inflow of water or inflow to reservoir. Okay, so in y axis, you will be having the cumulative inflow. Cumulative inflow means you will be adding up all these things as in the previous graph. Okay, so cumulative inflow to reservoir the, the amount of water coming into the reservoir by rainfall and everything will be added up with respect to a starting data to a set of years. Okay, so in mass rainfall curve, it was just cumulative instead of inflow, it was rainfall, it was just cumulative rainfall and time so in mass inflow curve it is cumulative inflow to the reservoir with respect to time so we know that this portion if if it is having a higher slope we know this portion it is high in, inflow okay this portion it is comparatively comparatively less slope so, so there will be less inflow in this period there will be higher inflow in this particular period and there will be lower inflow in this particular maybe it can be of many factors precipitation was less rainfall seasons were varying everything so you can you just understand the concept of mass inflow curve this is mass inflow curve cumulative inflow with respect to time okay and there is one more curve before that you need to understand what is demand we know what is yield what is safe yield what is secondary yield demand is the amount of water that is required from the reservoir the amount of water required from our considering reservoir okay suppose in an year you need 2.1 hectare meter of water for various purposes irrigation water supply hydrology power production etc you need 2.1 hectare meter that is called demand or yearly demand of reservoir demand will be 2.1 hectare meter per year okay and from that concept we can envision demand curve okay usually 
डिमांड कर्व्स आर जस्ट डिमांड ऑन वाई एक्सिस एंड टाइम ऑन एक्स एक्सिस इफ इट इज अ यूनिफॉर्म डिमांड आई मीन इफ टू पॉइंट वन हेक्टर मीटर इज द रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर ऑल द इयर्स टू टू थाउजेंड वन टू थाउजेंड टू टू थाउजेंड थ्री ऑल दिस इयर्स यू जस्ट नीड टू पॉइंट वन नथिंग है नथिंग मोर इट विल बी ए स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके सो दिस इज अ नॉर्मली ड्रॉन डिमांड कर बाई वे ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म सप्लाई यूनिफॉर्म डिमांड फ्रॉम अ रिजर्व है बाय स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके सो इन हियर ऑल्सो यू बी हैविंग टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड वन टू थाउजेंड टू टू थाउजेंड थ्री टू थाउजेंड फोर एक्सेट्रा ओके सो यू सपोज देर इज वेरिएशन ऑफ डिमांड इट विल बी ए कर्ड लाइक लाइक दिस इट कैन बी कर्ड लाइक मास एंड फ्लो कर बट यूजली वी कंसिडर डिमांड कर straight line okay so we are study what is demand what is yield and other terms and two curves demand curve and mass inflow curve okay so we next move on to the concept of calculation of safe yield and storage capacity